In the early days of Christianity, people would meet together in houses. Then, Paul began the first church. Then, Constantine institutionalized Christianity, which led to the Nicene Creed, which led to the formation of Catholicism as we know it today, but also to some problems. Like divisions in leadership, holy wars, gross abuses of power, the sale of salvation, and further divisions. Among other things, the Vatican Second Council encouraged Catholics to get back to their roots. Kiko and Carmen took the message to heart and formed the Neocatechumenal Way, which attempts to bring Catholics back to the original teachings and style of the early church. He began in the slums of Madrid, Spain, preaching to the poor and the needy. He caught the attention of the Archbishop who sent him to Rome. In Rome, Kiko and Carmen were able to gain the support of the Pope, who encouraged them to draft statutes and gave them permission to open seminaries. The seminaries would train the next generation of neocatechumenal Catholic priests. The movement spread to the United States in the 1970s, first to New York, then to California. In order to establish a neocatechumenal community in the U.S., missionaries go to a parish without a community and ask the priest if he is willing to assist in forming a community. If he agrees, then... In a typical Mass, the priest is in the front and the people sit facing him. In a neocatechumenal Eucharist, people sit in a square facing each other and the priest to symbolize community and sitting at the Lord's table. And they dance as part of their prayer. Typical Catholic baptism involves sprinkling water on the person being baptized. Neocatechumenal baptism involves full immersion of the person being baptized and the priest. Typical Catholic communion involves long lines for the priest. Neocatechumenal communion is full service. The priest or deacon comes to you. Lay people will present and reflect on scripture in an admonition. Afterward, members of the congregation are invited to explain how the scripture affected them personally. Kiko composed songs, especially for neocatechumenal Eucharist, and the rumor is that every neocatechumenal Catholic can play at least one of these songs. Proselytizing and missionary efforts are very important, and people are sent around the United States and the rest of the world to form new communities. They appear to be successful as the movement continues to grow. <laughs>